Bible says that God has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men and that he hath raised him from the dead. That's Jesus Christ. The Bible says there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Yep. The Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. The judgment. God is going to judge your life. One day, you will die, and you will stand before God. So we're out here with our Bibles today. We're Christians. We're born again. We're here to call you to repentance, which means turning from sin, turning around, ceasing, changing your mind, forsaking sin. And sin is transgression, transgression of the law. God's law. The Bible makes it very clear in the Bible of 1 John chapter 3, whosoever committed sin, transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whoever sinneth, whosoever sinneth, hath not seen him, neither known him. So if you're out here today living in sin, if you're breaking God's law, if you're out here getting drunk, getting high, having sex outside of marriage, being a homosexual, full of pride, you're not right with God, and we're here to call you to repent. And that there's hope for you, you can be forgiven, but you must turn to Jesus Christ with repentance and forsake your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible says there's no salvation in any other name. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The Bible says it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. And if you're living in sin today, and if you hate the preaching, if you're getting drunk, getting high, that means you're a child of the devil on your way to hell. But Jesus Christ came to save sinners, not only from hell, but from the sin that's leading you to hell. And the Bible says in John 3.16, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So here we have God in the past. It's past tense. For past tense. For God so loved the world that he gave. There was a time 2,000 years ago when God showed his love for mankind and when he sent his son, Jesus Christ, who is God manifest in the flesh, according to 1 Timothy 3.16. God himself came down he came a man, he was manifest in the flesh, and he died on the cross, he was buried, he rose again the third day, and he did all this, that you might be saved. The Bible says, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. This is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. So the question becomes, are you living in darkness? Are you living in sin? You're condemned already, the Bible says. There was a time when I realized I was condemned and I deserved to go to hell. And if you don't believe that you're condemned already, you're not ready to be saved because Jesus only can save the sinner, condemn the sinner. And if you've lied ever and once in your life, if you know it, you're already a lying sinner on your way to hell, but Jesus Christ can save you if you repent of your sin, if you become honest. That means you love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. You love your neighbor as yourself. It's really that simple, folks. God made it so simple and it levels it to your personal ability. Good. Every person is Good commanded question. by God to love Him supremely with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength and to love your neighbor as you love yourself. That you can do right now, here tonight in YTP. You can admit that you've sinned against the Holy God. 
you can come to God with repentance and realize, I deserve to go to hell. But Jesus Christ and His mercy does not give you what you deserve. It's called the mercy of God. When He died on the cross, His blood made an atonement for you. A substitutionary death that makes your sin completely unpunishable by God. He's going to, even though you're completely guilty, He's going to remit the penalty. He's going to treat you as if you've never sinned. It's called getting born again. Become a new creature in Christ Jesus. For me, that happened in 1994. I got born again after a life of crime. I realized I was on my way to hell. And I turned to Jesus Christ. I got on my knees and I said, Lord God, forgive me. Have mercy on me, a sinner. And He came into my heart. He came into my life. I got born again. And you can do that tonight. Even in your hotel room, God has sent you a text message. His word, the Bible, it's available for free. And salvation is absolutely free for you tonight. And it's not cheap, though. Many of you guys will reject the gospel because it's free. You don't believe something that's free is worth anything. But it costs God, His Son, Jesus Christ, His entire life. He shed his blood and died willingly for you. So, salvation is free, but it's not cheap. Because God, his son, Jesus Christ suffered the ultimate penalty to make an atonement for your sins. What a loving God. So, only through Jesus Christ can you be saved. Jesus said in John 14, 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And truth is exclusive. Truth is not inclusive. Jesus said, I am the way, not a way, the way. The Bible says there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So your only hope of avoiding going to hell and burning forever, which is the wages of sin, is death. God contrasts eternal death with eternal life. He says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The wages of sin is death. Your sin has earned you wages. And those wages are hell. The book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 12. John the apostle had a vision from Jesus. He said, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. The books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. The dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book, according to their words. The sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. That's a future vision of the judgment of God coming to you. You will die, and you will go to either heaven or hell. And death and hell will be delivered up one day you'll stand before God and be judged. And if you are in hell, you'll be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Not only will you die once, you'll die a second death. That should put the fear of God in your heart. But if you get born again, if you admit you're a sinner and come to Jesus Christ, repent of your sin and get born again, then you can have eternal life. If Jesus said, whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. And Jesus said, even if a man dies and believes in me, he shall live. But this life is not all there is. You will live forever, either in heaven or hell. It's up to you, your choice. You have free will to either accept Jesus Christ or reject Jesus Christ. Jesus said, if you confess me before men, I will confess you also before my Father which is in heaven. But if you deny me before men, I will also deny you before my Father which is in heaven. Where is your confession tonight? Are you confessing Jesus Christ as Lord tonight? Or are you denying Him tonight? You need to make that decision before you die. No man knows when they're going to die. You can get 
hit by a trolley tonight in Waikiki, you could die. People die all the time. Sometimes people even go into gay bars and get shot by Muslims. So we really pray that you will never go into a gay bar and get shot by a Muslim. Because those Muslims are very much anti-gay and they might walk into a gay bar and shoot a homosexual or a sodomite sympathizer. Don't be a sodomite sympathizer. Because when the police officer goes in there to shoot that Muslim, God's minister, the police officer, goes in to shoot the Muslim, you don't want to get shot in the crossfire because if you're a guilty sinner in a gay bar, you'll just end up in hell. Just like the Muslim who gets shot by that righteous police officer that shoots him. So we're warning you tonight, and the purpose of a warning is that you would avoid the danger. And if you're a sinner tonight, if you're not a Christian, you're in great danger. You're one heartbeat away from going to hell. Because you deserve hell already. You're condemned already, the Bible says. Because you have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And you need to get right with a holy God who knows your name. He knows how many hairs are on your head. He knows the thoughts of your heart. He's been writing down in books in heaven every sin you've committed. What you need is Jesus Christ to make that atonement for you. You need to accept what he did on the cross and get born again and have your sins blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You can have eternal life through Jesus Christ. Time to repent of your sins. Time to stop being a sin-loving God-hater. Time to start being a God-loving sin-hater. And if you love sin tonight, you hate God. The Bible says the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, and the world passeth away. But whosoever doeth the will of God will find it forever. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 13, verse 41, The Son of God shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. They shall be wailing, they shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. God's gonna judge your life. Don't end up in hell. You could die tonight. You could get drunk. You get right over by a trolley jaywalking. You could stumble and fall and hit your head and die and go to hell. It's appointed unto men wants to die, but after this, the judgment. You were created in the image and likeness of God. You have a beginning, but you have no end. You will live forever, either in heaven or in hell. Don't be a sinner and end up in hell. The Bible says, he that committed sin is of the devil. Be not deceived. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committed sin is of the devil. 1 John 3, 8. So if you're out here committing sin tonight, that means you're a child of the devil. I used to be a child of the devil. Now I'm a child of God. And there are only two kinds of people, children of God and children of the devil. Which one are you tonight? If you're not a Christian, guess which one you are. But God has made a way that you can become righteous and holy. Righteous and holy through Jesus Christ.
The Bible says, Revelation 22, 11, He that is unjust, let it be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. So there's two types of people there, the unjust and filthy, contrasted with the righteous and holy. And in Matthew chapter 7, talks about people on the wide and broad road that leads to destruction, contrasted with those on the, that are on the straight and narrow, the difficult and narrow road of Jesus Christ. Which one are you? Are you an unjust, filthy sinner on the wide and broad road that leads to destruction? Are you righteous and holy on the straight and narrow road? The only way you can be righteous and holy is to follow Jesus Christ. To love God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. To love your neighbor as yourself. So we're out here calling sinners to repentance, warning you of the wrath and judgment to come. God has appointed a day in which He will judge the world in righteousness by that man, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. God manifest in the flesh. So don't be a sin-loving God-hater, be a God-loving sin-hater. Time to repent. Got a lot of people out here, young people I know, they just want to get drunk, get high, have sex outside of marriage. Jesus Christ can save you from your sins and from the hell that you deserve. God's going to burn you in hell. You're in trouble with God if you're not a Christian. You're on your way to hell fire. God's going to burn you. You need to fear God. Why don't you start loving God and start serving God instead of being a child of the devil, serving sin, living for the devil, your father. You need your allegiance to be to God because God is going to put you in hell if you don't. He commands you to repent. He commands you to love Him. And you need God in your life. You're not qualified to govern your life. Your life's a mess. Even though you might be rich financially, the Bible says you're wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Because you lack the fear of God, you lack God's righteousness, you're